Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to our channel. The weather has taken a huge turn in the last couple of days. We no longer have mild autumn days with a lovely and reassuring sun. In its place, we began to have dark clouds, pouring rain and a very crazy and busy wind. Nature is in its full force. So I decided to take advantage of that and take on a project that is long due. As the rain taps gently on the window pane, there is no better time to cozy up at home and embark on a delightful DIY project. Especially for those of us with a unique vintage style, finding the perfect items can be quite a challenge. I have been looking for some cute soap dispensers for the kitchen, but I found myself unable to overcome that simple challenge. I don't like anything that I see in the stores. But I do not despair, for today we will create something special that not only satisfies my unique taste, but also adds a personal touch to my space. And of course, I will be accompanied by my Cricut Joy. With the soothing sound of the rain as our backdrop, let's craft a solution to the quest for vintage-inspired decor. For those of us who adore the vintage aesthetic, rainy days are the perfect canvas for creativity and relaxation. I've searched online for ideas of what to make, and Cricut itself has some suggestions. If you tap what type of design you want to make on the search bar, it will give you some examples of projects that other people did. Some are free, some are paid. But I kinda already knew more or less what I wanted to do. So, I just start designing it. Since the project is only in my head, just an idea of what I want, it takes some time to design it. And I only use free content on Cricut, so I just try a lot of fonts to see which one would fit best. Now watch as the Cricut Joy effortlessly transforms plain materials into custom designs that perfectly match your unique style. The possibilities are endless and the joy of crafting is truly therapeutic. As you carefully weed and apply the vinyl, you will discover the true artistry of DIY. It's a satisfying feeling creating something uniquely yours, especially when it's inspired by your vintage loving soul. When I did the design, I really thought that the vinyl will be all put together like in the image. But I was wrong so I had to mount it like a puzzle. This takes patience and a lot of luck also to be able to do everything symmetrically. But I have time and at least I can finally have the soap dispensers that fit my style. I think I didn't mention before but I was strolling through IKEA and came across these bottles. Just simple black matte soap dispensers. My DIY mind starts working right away. So I bought them. They were really inexpensive, like around $5 I think. These ones are ceramic, 
but they also had ones made in plastic that are cheaper. I thought these ones would last longer and I always try to avoid plastic materials. I am so glad I found them. I've searched everywhere for something that would be even remotely my style. Even on Amazon. I think I found something that was similar, but was very expensive. I have this problem many times. I envision something I would like to buy, but doesn't exist, or I cannot find it, or it's crazy expensive. So now that I have more time, I just make them. It's cheaper, keeps me busy on rainy days like today, and it gives me the opportunity to share them with you. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I would love to see you next time as well. Now let's see the final result. And there you have it your very own custom soap dispensers tailored to your unique vintage style rainy days needn't be frustrating when you can fill them with DIY projects like this ensuring that every detail in your home aligns with your distinctive taste so Next time you find it challenging to locate items that match your vintage style or your style at all, take it as an opportunity to let your creative spirit shine. The rain can be your muse as you breathe life into your dream vintage home decor. Thank you so much for being with me today and I hope to see you in the next one.